is how I have to do it. I can't use my computer. Thank you, Facebook. Uh, we're going to make elderberry tea. I drink this every night um, since I figured out that it helps me when I'm sick with fibromyalgia. I started making it. So now I'm going to make it a week-long tea in a big pot. It's kind of like a medium pot. These are elderberries. And these are the dark ones. You can get them in the south. Here in the Pacific Northwest, they're powder blue. And they're okay, but they don't really give you this enough antioxidants. I would get these for free if I lived in the south, but I don't. So I have to buy them. And uh, it just says elderberries whole. These used to be about $4. Now they're $7. This is only... Uh, a few ounces. I can't really read it without my glasses. But you can order them online from herb stores. Probably cheaper. They're like $12 a pound. So what I do is I just take a teaspoonful. One. Two. Two teaspoonfuls. Heaping. It don't matter. Put it in there. Put it in there. Done with that one. And then... I like to, I like the flowers from the northwest elderberry, powder blue elderberry trees. These aren't that great. They still smell good. Um, they have a lot of good stuff in them too and it makes it really fragrant. I like flowers. And so just, just a little bit like finger and a, a finger touch full, like maybe a half teaspoon, but I like to crinkle them up. And turkey tails again because turkey tails are flavorless so not only and my jar is getting ugh, I need to go get some more um, if they're not around until winter time I like to put just a little bit if there's some extra moss on it you don't want that in there take it off but it's all the same it's not going to hurt you so you just crunch it up in there little pieces and I usually put about two of them in there. And uh, these are getting pretty rough. Good thing they're almost gone. A little more. And that one's really rough. He's got a lot of moss on it. Just pull this off of here. And that's probably enough, these two. And this tea lasts me all week. What I do. Oh, Stepped on a ball. Oh, cat ball. I use reverse osmosis water. I get it at natural grocers for a quarter a gallon. A quarter a gallon. And people say, you need to put minerals back in. Look, I'm making stuff with it, okay? It doesn't need to have anything in it. This is very good for fermenting kombucha and any kind of water uh, keeper and for teas and for medicines. And then you fill it all the way up. I wish I could give you a visual. I'll have to move the camera for a minute. And you fill it all the way up. I'm going to boil this until it, it gets a little tiny bit of a boil going. And I'm going to turn it off, put the lid on. And um, if it's cooled down before I go to bed, I'll just heat it up to where it's uh, not boiling, but not cold. You want it not to burn the stuff you put in it. I'll explain that later. So, feel it to the top. That's what it looks like. Beautiful. You can already see it's turning the color of the water. And uh, then we're going to put it on the stove. And let it cook for a while and now this is what I do when I was really sick I would do this twice a day even three times a day but now I only need to do it one times a day but I never forget so elderberry helps for colds and flus but if you don't take it every day it's not going to help you you're going to get like a 60% chance of, of help maybe lower to have a 100% chance of helping you not get sick. It must be in your system every day. Every herb has to be slowly over time into your system.
Plus, this helps with your blood like it does. A Cyberry helps with your blood. It, it cleans your blood out. I mean, in the 1800s, the older women used to drink it for dis-ease. Clogged blood. Like your blood will flow. Don't listen to the doctors. They're full of shit. So, this is what I add. You know what that is. Okay, it's probably backwards. <laughs> but... Shake it first. Two capfuls in your cup. And this doesn't taste like vinegar. Let me tell you, I can't drink it without vinegar and honey. It tastes so good with it. It'll amaze you. After the first day, you'll be like, oh, that's weird. Then your body will start to crave it. It is a 